Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you that are cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. We're going to take a look at it and see what's next for you, love, whether there's someone coming in towards you or, you know, um, if you are romantically involved with someone, we'll see what's going to unfold and what will transpire in the next couple of months. So this is a reading for singles and couples as well. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what the cards predict for you. It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and connect. I will list my email address just below the video here. So let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and let's begin. Someone is coming back here, guys. Someone is coming back. They're returning back to you or they're coming back. Um, I do want to warn you because I feel like who, what, it, like this energy that's coming back, it feels like they might potentially waltz back into your life and um, pretend like they might have never done anything wrong. But I do get a strong sense of someone from the past, a former flame, a past energy, an ex, um, a fling that you far flung, someone that you were romantically connected to and involved with quite deeply at some point in time is coming back into the picture. They're rushing back towards you though, okay? They're rushing back towards you um, and I do feel like with the fool's energy, something about this their return or their mentality does seem a little bit foolish to me so we'll go ahead and see what that's about but let's begin with justice card i feel like over the next couple of weeks or months here i'm seeing an, a sense of balance and a sense of equilibrium here being restored to the scale so some of you are going to be making peace with a conflict or a tension in your energy so i'm also seeing that for others of you you're kind of it's an accepting okay you're accepting where you're at some of you are, are accepting that a relationship here has ended you might potentially find yourself closing the chapter on a relationship uh, or moving on and releasing someone's energy someone who has pained you hurt you betrayed you backstabbed you and you might have been holding on to that pain for quite some time and look you might not be able to release all of it just yet but i feel like you will make progress here over the next few weeks or months you'll be at a stage where you're either making peace with it what, what, with what's happened you could potentially be forgiving this individual even forgiving yourself and remember forgiveness is never an attribute of the weak it is an attribute of the strong forgiveness isn't you know it, it's something that um strong people do and forgiveness a lot of time people think that if you forgive someone you're sending them the message that you know it's okay for them to go around hurting you, betraying you, or backstabbing you. Um, that's not the case. First and foremost, forgiveness is essential because we don't want unforgiveness, hurt, resentment, or any of that bitterness running around in your subconscious and then it popping up in you know various ways. And also, when you forgive someone or something, you're accepting that it's happened. You're not telling them that it's okay that it's happened, but you're making peace with the fact that it has happened and you're trying to find a way to heal that and you know move on from that. So a lot of you will be doing that. You'll be working on yourself here and um, some of you are going to be healing. Some of you are going to, um, you're going to be seeking forgiveness or you're going to forgive yourself or someone here is going to be seeking your forgiveness. Ten of Swords, I also feel like there's something here that's ended for you or is ending for you. Okay, but it feels like because of the way that the sun crests the horizon and the way that it breaks through those dark clouds, this is symbolic of a new day. Okay, so I feel like maybe something that has ended for you could begin again. Okay, someone that has pulled away and someone that might have hurt you maybe is coming back in a brand new energy and is wanting to reconcile, is wanting to seek your forgiveness here. Um... It could also be that maybe you're slowly letting go of pain and hurt and you're stepping into a new cycle, a new energy field where, um, yeah, you're just making peace with what has happened here. You're not necessarily okay with the fact that it's happened, but you're trying to heal, you're trying to move on here, you're trying to be strong. For others of you, I do feel like something that you feel that has ended hasn't entirely. It may have ended. But I feel like something begins in a new way and perhaps even in a better way as well. 
Some of you are closing the chapter on something, but then I feel like that person here is coming back. And I do feel like, as I've mentioned earlier, you know, someone's coming back with a foolish energy because to me it feels like, I don't know, they they come back and it's almost like they want to pick up where the two of you left off. Or they come back and they might seek your forgiveness, but then they may go ahead and do something sinister again, like hurt you, you know, betray you or pain you. So just make sure that whoever is coming back here, you know, is not coming back in this foolish state where they think that they can just come and go as they please or that you will tolerate their coming and going. You will tolerate their disrespectful and rude behavior. So, you know, they may need a bit of an awakening. Um, they may need a bit of a reality check. So when they do come back, hold them accountable. Hold them accountable for their actions and the role they played in this connection because they desperately want to come back. Because to me, it feels like this energy thought that they would be fine without you. But boy, were they wrong. They found out that you are irreplaceable. You are, sorry, you are not replaceable. You are irreplaceable. There's no one out like, there's no one out there quite like you here. You're unique. They were lucky to have you. But unfortunately and very sadly, it's made your absence really, it's a pre... It's made them really appreciate your presence here. So someone is coming back. Um, I feel like for some of you, it is this foolish energy. It's this energy where they're going to want to waltz back into your life. And the fool could also be uh, an energy where they might not necessarily be taking the connection serious or they're not taking themselves serious. So if that's the case, I just want to give you a bit of a heads up. Make sure you, know, you approach the situation um, as you see it, not as you want to see it. The other thing is the fool could uh, be a good sign though. It could be a good thing because someone might be coming back with a renewed sense of energy. They may have tried to let go of the past, let go of any uh, you know, behavioral or emotional patterns that may have um, hindered and hurt this connection. And they're coming back and they want a fresh new start, a new beginning here. Okay? I'm also seeing that there is someone here around you, and I feel like it's this energy who's who's going to be doing a lot of chasing, a lot of chasing. So expect a lot of phone calls, expect a lot of text messages from this person. Um, they're really going to overcommit and overextend themselves here. Seven of Pentacles energy, it's an energy of waiting here. It's an energy of long-term benefits. So... Maybe some of you just need to be reminded that there is something here that you're putting a lot of effort into and you might not you might not be seeing the results, but this is a card of long-term benefits. So something here is not showing up as quickly as you want it in your life, but that's okay. Be patient. Okay, be patient and be ready because it's always better to have an uh you know to be ready and not have an opportunity than to have an opportunity and not be ready for it. So um Anticipate it because I do feel like something is happening for you. Probably not happening soon enough. But I do feel like something here is happening for you. And some of you, I feel like, like for instance, you could be building a connection with someone. Okay? The seeds that you're planting, you might feel like it's not going anywhere. Or it's not very progressive. Or you just feel like something he can't come soon enough it is happening the universe the universe here is working tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure that this happens for you so just be patient it is a card it's also a card that reminds you that a watched pot never boils right so make sure you know you're focusing your energy on other things not just this one thing because in doing that you potentially could be putting too much pressure on something here something is going is slow to happen but I do see, like for example, it could be a commitment, but I do feel like it's going to, it might be slow to take off, or it might begin very quickly, but then it might phase out or slow down, okay? Be patient, be, pro be patient with the process. Trust the, pro the process, respect the process, don't rush the process. You won't regret it, honestly. Let everything happen naturally, fluidly, organically here. Don't rush anything. Because if you have to rush something, you're essentially trying to manipulate, right, the situation to achieve your desired outcome. And it's not organic. It's not healthy as well. So allow something to blossom. Allow something to thrive. But let it do. Let it happen on its own time. Okay. And who's to say that your timeline or this person's timeline, you know, is right? Because I feel like the universe is working something, um, is working its magic, its alchemy here for you. But I feel like 
it may not happen in your timeline but i do see it happening here there's still hope to me it feels like the message that i have for you a situation in which you feel like right now there's such a cold energy around this person or around this connection you feel like it seems really hopeless you um you feel like there's you've left out in the dark about something here you feel like you don't you know you don't have this person's energy or you don't have their support a situation that seems very much in despair and you're very saddened by this there's still hope all is not lost there's still hope look at the way the five of pentacles is lined up in the church's window you have people around you who care for you who absolutely love you and who are and who will always be there to support you but i also feel like the five of pentacles there is still hope so if something is looking hopeless right now Remember, there are always two sides to a coin, two sides to a pentacle, and there's always an upside to a situation. Maybe just you're looking at things the wrong way, or you're looking at things from the right, wrong angle. Because I do feel like there's still hope. There's still hope with him or her. There's still hope for this connection. There's still hope for this relationship. There's still hope to turn things around. There's still hope that things can get better. After every dark night, there is a brighter day. These stormy, snowy weather conditions, they're not going to last forever. Guys, this too shall pass. It will pass. It might it may pass painfully, but it will pass. There's still hope here. They're still in it is the message I have. So are you. Even if it doesn't feel that way. Alright guys, so these are your messages. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you guys for your time and attention. Bye for now.